Okay, we're now at the Palace in Winslow, Indiana. I'm not real sure which original and which additions. If you look right here, there's like a split, and right there's another split. But if you see where the open sign is for the Beacon of Light restaurant, front entrance, off to your left, is a door that leads right over to the palace. So I don't know if that part was original or, or if they added an addition to it. It looks like an addition, to be honest. Walk over here and take a closer look. Now, as you can see, there's a dumpster right there. They are fixing it up. Right there's the cornerstone. It's kind of like a Goodwill um, charity donation type deal. Walk over here. You can see where the door is to go over the beacon of, from the beacon of light to the palace. I did do a video on this place. I, I love small town America. You can leave your furniture out front. Now there are people working. I don't know what all they're working on. You got a ceiling fan in there drooping. It's kind of cool though. I mean, I, I love these old buildings. I, I really do. Well, people actually took pride in the craftsmanship. I mean, you look at the top, the molding up there. They, they don't build places like this anymore. Walk over here to the side. Okay, over here we're on the side. Now that gray area with the red door, apparently that used to be a beauty shop. Somebody was fixed, well, I fixed it up and they ended up moving into Petersburg. But once again, you look down here a little bit further, past where the beauty shop was, you see a different building. It kind of looks like an addition I'm not sure. See that part in the back where the roof line ends? There's a crack down there. It looks like something was built into there. It doesn't look like the original part of the building. I'm not sure what this building ever was. No parking except for that. It's got a real small garage door on it. But here's where the beauty shop used to be. Looks like they did a pretty nice job fixing it up. Might still be fixing it up, I don't know. Now this looks like it used to be original to the palace. Okay, let's go ahead, head inside, take a look around. The first floor is the Cornerstone Storehouse. Our mission is to simply show the love of Jesus. In doing that we keep Colossians 3 verse 23 in mind.
The Palace Lodge is a historic commercial building in the small town of Winslow, Indiana, United States. Since its construction in the late 19th century, the building has been the location of several businesses, the meeting place for two different secret societies, and the center of the town's commercial district. It has been declared a historic site because of its historically significant architecture. In the late 19th century, Winslow was the home of two different fraternal orders, the Independent Order of Odd Fellows and the Knights of Pythias. Seeing the benefits of cooperation, the two lodges worked together to erect a building in downtown Winslow, at the intersection of Main and Center Streets. After the building was finished in 1892, the two lodges used it jointly, their meetings were held on the first story, and they employed the second story as office space. Unfortunately for the lodges, they became encumbered by debt soon after the building's construction, and their financial difficulties required them to sell the building in 1898. Local businessman Logan Robling purchased the property, which he converted into a general store. After his son Monroe Robling left the peddling business, the two men operated it together under the name of L. Robling and Son. They remained in business until 1946. When they sold the property to Monroe's daughter Winifred and her husband, Neil Brown, the Browns operated a grocery store on the property for 35 years. Both the general store and the grocery store only occupied the first floor of the building, the second floor was typically used for office space or as apartments. The oldest commercial structure in Winslow, the Palace Lodge is the town's best preserved example of business blocks completed in the late 19th century. Because of its unusually well-preserved architecture, it was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1984. It was the first property in Pike County to be given this distinction, and it was the only such property until a similar recognition was given to the Potoka Bridges Historic District in 2005. Thank you.